step-by-step -step installation. Find your scope model, print it on its side. See the package front cover and find your scope model. The back cover shows pictures and text how to use the product. If you're not familiar with this information, you can find them somewhere on the cartridge package or on the cartridge brand's homepage. Find your cartridge ballistic or minimum, know your bullet type, weight, and muzzle velocity. Here you see Swarovski's ballistic app. You need this to calculate the right placement for the rings. Basic settings. Choose your language and unit system. Scope and zoom. Number one, find your scope model. Two, your reticle type. Choose the ballistic turret. Three, measure the distance from center scope to center barrel and type it in. Four, set your zoom power. Not that important. Bullet and load. Here we need the information we were talking about earlier. Number one, database or hand load. In this example, we choose database to the manufacturer. Three, the caliber. Four, cartridge or bullet type. Five, bullet weight. 6. Muzzle Velocity 7. Ballistic Coefficient, also known as a Bullet BC. If you're not familiar with this, just use the preset value. Field of Activity 1. Sight in Distance for Zero Positioning 2. Shooting angle. Three, type of target, not relevant. Atmospheric conditions. One, altitude. This is your height above sea level. Two, pressure. Three, humidity. Four, temperature. In this example, we will use the standard presettings. Now you press the button, ballistic turret, at the bottom. Press the top green line and adjust to match your first desired distance. Look at the left of the green line and see how many clicks you should go from zero. Do the same with the yellow and red line. Now the same with the white line. Be aware, it shows the clicks from zero position. Write your clicks down for your first four rings. Because Snicky's Torret Rings offer five rings instead of the original three, this app needs an extra line. For compensation, we just make a new green line for the next desired distance. In this example, we will have our last ring at 400 meters. It now shows the clicks I have to go from zero position to my last ring. You could fill in the other lines and write down for later adjustments. Now remove the cap with a plastic key or coin. and remove the original three rings. Take off the next cap, which holds the turret rings in place. If you have not yet sighted in your scope for zero position, you have to do this before continuing. Here we have our scope sighted in at 100 meters for zero position. Now be sure the bottom ring is turned against stop position in the direction of the printed arrow. Be careful not moving the top ring at the same time. Now, mount the first cap again, so the triangle 
is just above the little marked dot. Zero position. Go six clicks for our distance at 200 meters. Place the ring just above the little dot. Four clicks from the first ring for 250 meters. Continue the same way with the next three rings. And mount the top cap. Tighten with the plastic key or coin. Turn back your ballistic turret until the mechanical stop, also known as the zero position. We are now finished and can check our preset distances. Zero back the ballistic turret. Now it's time for testing at the range. Have fun and enjoy your Znicky's turret rings.